Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about string tokenizing and file handling. We already discussed both in separate videos. Uh, we have we already discussed about uh, string tokenizer in previous video where you are going to take the input from the keyboard, okay, for by the from the and entered by the user, and then takes it token by token and then do the manipulation and display it on the screen. And we already uh, discussed about file handling, how to read, uh, how to store it, input, uh, and then how to get uh, get the output from the file. Okay. So here you are going to see uh, how the string tokenizer is used to process the input from a file line by line. So you know that uh, you will already have a file which has some lines. So you are going to use the string tokenizer and get the input from the file line by line and then do the manipulation. In the following example. We, re we read a file called names.txt okay this names.txt remember you should be available now uh, inside the hard disk that is you should have already created this file we are uh, in the previous example itself we already created this names.txt so it is available in the system okay so you don't uh, show any error if it does not uh, exist then it will show uh, file not found error okay so you have to first create the file names.txt and then you can read it from the file and then use a string uh, tokenizer to identify and output the content so you can identify the uh, content through string tokenizer and then you can display it okay either you can do some manipulation and then display which you already seen in previous video or you can just uh, count number of tokens available and then display the number of tokens so here this program is going to do that uh, do that what i just said you are going to input the that is you are going to take the file uh, names.txt you are going to count number of tokens and display it on the screen so we are going to see how to do that so first thing is first two lines import java.io.asterisk import java.util.asterisk both the packages are included io package which is used to uh, use the uh, input or output statement in the program second one is string tokenizer if you are going to use string tokenizer it is available under util package so you have to include util package in the program next line is public class s token file so this line uh, creates a file name s token file and then you got public static void mean string argues throws io exception so this line again if you are going to have any error in the program that is input output error in the program throws keyword will handle it okay and it uh, program does not stop so inside uh, public static public static void mean you have buffer reader br equal to new buffer reader uh, new file reader within bracket names.txt now uh, you can see that names.txt as we discussed it should be available in the system right it should be already been created otherwise it gives an uh, file not found error okay so first you create names.txt which is uh, uh, which should be available then if it is available then it can be included okay you, by using br uh, buffer reader object you can uh, take it from the uh, file you got uh, two variables string str and int n equal to 0 okay one is uh, str is used to take the uh, string from the file and store it into str and then uh, n equal to 0 that is initialized as 0 uh, it is used to count the number of tokens available in the file uh, just count how many number of tokens and store the numerical value into that okay now here you got a while uh, loop which is used to execute till uh, it becomes end of file that means it keeps on reading the file line by line once it reaches the last line which will be empty which will return null okay so once it reaches null it will stop the loop okay so that's the first line which you can see that while str equal to br dot read line not equal to null so str dot br uh, str equal to br dot read line uh, you already know uh, read line is the input statement used in buffer reader it will take the input from the file and it will store it into the variable str okay after storing into the vari uh, variable str it checks whether it is equal to null if it is equal to null it stops if it not equal to null then that is uh, the file uh, values exist so the values will be stored in str okay this is the first line of while statement if it is true it enters now you are going to create a string uh, tokenizer string tokenizer data equal to new string tokenizer str so str which already has the value uh, okay why you create this string tokenizer inside the while loop is you are going to read line by line okay 
uh, while loop is used to read the uh, line first line and then check whether uh, the uh, data is available if it is available then it goes inside okay if it is null the data is not available then it stops okay string tokenizer is used to read the line okay so you are creating the string tokenizer inside the while loop so that you can keep on adding that into the uh, numerical uh, value that is variable n so that's the reason you use string tokenizer inside the while loop so string tokenizer data equal to new string tokenizer within parenthesis str which has the line now the data has the line okay data dot count tokens will count number of tokens in that line say for example if if you have uh, say five words in the first line it returns five and then second time when the loop executes it goes on to the second line suppose if the second line has three uh, three words uh, it, the number of that count tokens will count three and then it will already add five then it will be added so that's the reason you have written n equal to n plus data dot uh, count token so it keeps on adding number of tokens not in one line but in the whole file complete file how many tokens are available you are just going to count all that so that's the reason you have written n equal to n plus after the while loop is executed you will know uh, you have to just display the number of tokens so system dot out dot println okay uh, number of tokens is n so the that complete okay after completing the whole file okay the number of tokens the total number of tokens will be displayed on the screen then you got br dot close which will close the uh, buffer reader object so finally when you execute the program uh, which uh, the file uh, uh, names dot text as five words that is five names so number of tokens is five so that is what the output of the program is so if you understood this video uh, now you know how to uh, use string tokenization and read the file uh, read the data from the file and do the manipulation if you want to do further manipulation you can do it and then display the output on the screen right uh, we'll meet you in the next video till then thank you